Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at UP2011 with Leo Collins, who is CIO of Lionsgate. And you guys just won the People's Choice Award for Enterprise... Cloud User. Enterprise Cloud, cloud User. And what exactly does that mean? Well, we've uh, implemented a number of solutions based upon the cloud. We think they're innovative and they drive the business forward, but they're also really beneficial to our users and to our company. So this is a nice uh, little acknowledgement of that. We very much appreciate the fact that, that people here saw that as well. And I think it's safe to say that, that people don't necessarily think of the movie industry as being uh, as forward thinking as possibly they are. And you guys are doing something what I, that I think is fairly innovative in the cloud in terms of moving a, a large portion of the business infrastructure. How did you decide to get out of the servers and rack business and get into the, the cloud business? Well, a lot of people understand the business of making a movie. You can watch lots of different specials on different channels about the actual process of making a movie. Running a studio with thousands of movies, thousands of titles, and how all that works is, uh, is another question. So for us, being very efficient and being very uh, cost conscious is important, but at the same time, we're competing against big boys. So we're competing against Disney, Warner Brothers, Universal. Those are players that for us to get the edge we want sometimes involves in adopting new technologies and getting there first. So we decided, you know, looking out at our world and looking out where technology was, that the cloud represented a real advance forward, both in terms of cost, but in terms of functionality and flexibility and time to delivery. And we decided to take the leap and try it out. And it's worked very well. So where are some of the, the key areas where you saw the biggest efficiency gains? Well, it's, it's difficult in the sense that we didn't replace always an old technology with a new technology and we can compare the costs. What we did was we decided that this would be the way that we work forward. So we know that we're a lot further ahead in things like just managing a data center, being able to move towards mergers and acquisitions very quickly. We know that we're able to try things out and explore and invent um, in a way that, that's just quick and streamlined. That is all very important to us and to our management. And we're here in uh, Freedom's booth, and how did you guys arrive at, at choosing them as a partner in your move to the cloud? Well, we started this process out a couple of years ago, and it was a real you know, attempt to be first. So there weren't a lot of people that were doing this. So we talked to our potential cloud partners like Amazon, and they pointed us in the direction of Freedom. And uh, you know, it's difficult to find a partner that can deliver and has experience, but also willing to work through the new issues like being the first in SAP in the cloud. And Freedom represented that for us and it's been very good. And on the consumer side of things, are we gonna see more offerings from companies like Lionsgate doing innovative things um, in the consumer space in the cloud, maybe direct delivery of content? Well, it's a huge issue for us and it's something that we're actively working on and talking about. We do have movies being delivered through platforms like Facebook now. Um, but at the same time, we're also working very closely with our new and traditional distributors like, let's say, Walmart is a distrib traditional distributor, but they also have a new offerings and Netflix, which has, of course, DVD rentals, but now also streaming. So we're working across the board on all these fronts. One thing's for sure, we know the future is not going to be a linear projection from where we are now. So we're trying to build flexibility, speed to delivery, and cost all into all our models. Are there any things that are on the horizon in the, the cloud front that you guys are looking at that you haven't implemented yet that you can talk about? Well, I think that, that cloud represents a lot of different things. For one thing, you know, a client server or multi-tier applications like we've had that we've put into the cloud, those things are going to evolve to take more and more advantage of the multi-threaded and atomic nature of the cloud. So we see that there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of capabilities out there. Today, what it represents is, is that we're able to get to the solution quickly, and that's what we're exploiting, but we expect that the applications themselves, as well as the user interfaces, will change over time. Actually, not much time, very rapidly. All right, well, Leo, congratulations on the award, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. This video has been brought to you by GoToManage. Try GoToManage free for 45 days by entering the code Perillo45.